Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square precisely inscribed in the middle of this uh, semicircle, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And likewise, this uh, green square is inscribed as well. And moreover, the area of this uh, blue square is 324 centimeter square. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now we know that the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 324 centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. So therefore we can write S square equal to 324. 24 and now we wanted to figure out the side length of this uh, blue square let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides this square and square root is gone so this side length as the square root of 324 is 18 centimeter so therefore the side length of this uh, blue square turns out to be 18 centimeter that means this side is 18 this side is 18 this side is 18 and this side is 18 as well now we know that these are two side lengths are equal in length so therefore we can divide 18 into two equal parts so this side length is 9 and this side length is 9 centimeter as well and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, this point uh, e and uh, this center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And furthermore, we can see that this uh, OE is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. Let me go ahead and represent this radius by lowercase r. And now we are going to calculate the value of this uh, radius r. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle EBO. We know that this is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this uh, side uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. In our case, uh, a is 9, b is uh, 18, and uh, c is our radius r. So therefore, this is going to become 9 square plus uh, 18 square equal to r square so 9 square is 81 plus 18 square is 324 equal to r square so therefore r square is going to be equal to if we add these two numbers that's going to give us 405 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so therefore our r value turns out to be square root 405 centimeter so therefore our this uh, radius turns out to be square root of uh, 405 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded square before we calculate the area of this uh, green shaded square we must find the side length uh, of this square let me go ahead and represent this side length uh, x this uh, side length x likewise all these side lengths are x and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, this point d with this uh, center o as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and now we can see that this uh, d o is the radius of this uh, semicircle as well and we know that the radius is uh, 405 square root so therefore this radius is going to become square root of uh, 405 now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, dao we know that this uh, side length is x and this side length is 9 so therefore this uh, total length uh, ao is going to be x plus uh, 9 so we can write x plus uh, 9 since we are dealing with this uh, right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem once again and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg our side uh, c I'm going to call this side uh, a and this side uh, 
B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is uh, x plus uh, 9 whole square as you can see this uh, side length plus uh, B is uh, x so this is going to become x square and c in our case is square root of 405 and then square now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this part so therefore this could be written as x square plus 18x plus 81 and then uh, simply this uh, x square, I'm going to write it down over here, equal to this square and square root is gone. So we ended up with uh, 405. Let's combine the like terms. So this is going to give us uh, 2x square plus uh, 18x plus uh, 81 equal to 400 and 5. Let's subtract 405 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore we ended up with the 2x square plus 18x plus minus rather 324 equal to 0. Now we can see that this equation is divisible by 2 across the board. So let me go ahead and divide this uh, each term by 2 across the board so therefore we ended up with the uh, x square plus uh, 9x minus 162 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic uh, equation and we can solve it by grouping uh, and uh, factoring therefore let's uh, tweak uh, this uh, middle term 9x this could be written as uh, 18x minus 9x as you can see in this uh, next step uh, i have replaced this uh, 9x by this uh, 18x minus 9x and now we can see between these first two terms uh, x is in common and between these last two terms negative 9 is uh, common so therefore this could be written as x times uh, x plus uh, 18 and over here negative 9 is in common so i can write uh, x plus uh, 18 equal to 0. And now we can see x plus 18 is in common so therefore we are ended up with uh, x minus 9 times x minus plus 18 rather equal to 0 and now since these two factors are equal to 0 I can separate them the first uh, is going to be x minus uh, 9 equal to 0 and likewise uh, this uh, second one x plus 18 equal to 0 as well let's focus on this very first equation x minus 9 equal to 0 means uh, x equal to positive uh, 9 value and for this second equation this is going to give us x equal to negative 18 value and now we know that x represents the side length it cannot be negative so therefore we are going to reject this x equal to negative 18 value and we are going to accept this x equal to 9 so therefore the side length of this uh, green square turns out to be 9 centimeter so that means this side length is 9 this side length is 9 likewise this side length is 9 as well and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, square now and here's the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length so therefore in our case the side length is uh, 9 so the area is going to be simply 9 square so the area is going to be simply 81 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, green shaded square turns out to be 81 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye